Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The Vlogacy continues. So last week I did the Mega Drive sale and I saw quite a few. There's still a lot, lot left though, so if anybody's interested in Mega Drive stuff, uh, there'll be a link in the low bar to the previous video, you can go and have a look. I've also got a bunch of uh, empty boxes, or boxes and manuals basically. So if anybody's got any carts that you want to make complete and pimp your collection, let me know which loose carts you've got and we could work something out. So I've got, yeah, several, I don't know, about 20 odd boxes and manuals that are looking for a cart. Let's reunite them. It should be complete once more. Uh, yeah, I got them in a eBay a lot ages ago and ended up not bothering to get the loose carts but if you already got the loose carts I can help you out so some good news this week and uh, yeah I'm so happy finally have the mod done on the Wii uh, a lot of you will know that several months ago I tried to mod my Wii and it looked like I kind of got halfway there although halfway is really no way because nothing was happening uh, but yeah basically a friend of mine Matt who's not a big gamer but he's got a little five-year-old and he's starting to play games. He thought he'd dust off his Wii and show it to his lad. And he loved it, so he went ahead and modded his Wii. And he's, he's quite techy. Not that you really need to be, the mod's not that complicated, but I obviously managed to mess it up. Uh, so he modded his Wii and he came and visited this weekend and he has modded my Wii. And I'm so happy that it's finally up, done. I mean, there's the homebrew channel you can see. Uh, where's my pointer? Doesn't really matter, you don't need to. But yeah, I already had that on uh, that when I did it, but it wasn't reading anything. You had a USB loader. Uh, I put mine directly onto the uh, Wii. Uh, Matt's way of doing it, the tutorial he watched said, run it from an SD card. So that's what we did this time. We did it from scratch, the way that he did it. So yeah, all these games are uh, put on from, you know, ROMs, downloaded uh, Mario Kart there, just GoldenEye and Kirby, just to test it out. So yeah, only a few on there, but so happy to finally have that mod done because um, to be honest obviously it's nice to get the games for free but I just don't have room for another collection I would have liked to have collected for the, for the Wii but my game room is quite small and there just wasn't room really uh, to start another console collection uh, I know I have obviously got rid of some of my Mega Drive stuff but those shelves have already been taken up by Xbox stuff that I've moved in here from the living room so there's that yeah um, what else has happened this week? Oh, well, there was a random act of kindness recently. Um, quite astounding. Uh, I'd said in a previous video that you know one of my intentions was to get a, an, a, an Android uh, handheld gaming device so I could emulate and play a lot of retro stuff uh, through emulation. It fit, it fit my way of playing more. I could you know go around with it and uh, chill on the sofa with the missus instead of disappearing into the game room, that kind of thing. So, a package arrived for me a few days after I'd uh, said that, and I hadn't ordered anything. It was it was quite a, quite a quandary. And as I fondled the package, it seemed curiously Android game device shaped and weighted. Oh, by the way, this is what Shakespeare would have called a fatty boom batty. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, so I opened it, and it was only a friggin' JXD S7800, which is a pretty decent uh, Android uh, emulator, you know, a gaming device, uh, sent from none other than Chris, Chris Ashanked, one half of the uh, Two Fat Bastards. And a bloody nice bloke, and uh, a little birdie had told him that it was my birthday coming up. And he put two and two together and gave me a free friggin' game machine, which is ridiculous. But then, I had the ignominy, ignominy, is that the right word? To complain about it. Yes, I am that much of a cunt. Chris, I'm sorry. Such a nice thing to do, but after playing with it a bit, I had to be honest with him. And uh, I found out that the, basically the joysticks were kind of loose. You couldn't really play very well on the joystick, the thumbsticks. Your thumb would keep slipping off. It would, turn around on its axis if you know what I mean and the, the d-pad was a bit squishy so it wasn't that you know the controls were a bit uh, you know uh, uh, lacking but he'd had it sit, sat in his drawer for months and hadn't really used it so he wasn't aware of this and that's that's cool uh, so yeah I said oh Chris this is brilliant but it's quite difficult to use on most games because of the controls and that he says oh fuck 
right, right, well, send it back and I'll, I'll, fix, I'll fix it for you. I'll try and fix it for you. I'll open it up and all this business. I like tinkering. So I was like, okay, yeah, all right, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Go with that. And then we kept talking and it, I kind of, <laughs> despite that massive kindness, I ended up sending it back and saying, look, this is really nice, but if I'm brutally honest, I've got my heart set on a different uh, machine, and that is the uh, the GPD XD. Uh, and it, yeah, it's just a, it's a bit more powerful. The controls are, uh, you know, the consensus seems to be the controls are a lot better on that, and uh, it's got a few other. Um, you know advantages it's clamshell for example it protects the screen and the controls you don't have to be too careful about it in that respect so yeah I'm only really going to go for the GPD so I ended up sending it back Chris I know what a cunt I'm sorry but it gets worse it hasn't even got back to him yet so I've sent this through the post regrettably not signed for because I tend to try and trust the post and I haven't had too many problems but it's not got back to him yet and this is over a week later so I'm a bit worried now that he sent me this game machine as a, you know as a goodwill gesture. We did end up working a trade out. I kind of forced him to allow me to trade for him instead of just you know giving it to me for nothing. Um, but when it transpired that I was going to keep it, he then paid for the games. So I sent this thing back to you, Chris, and it's not arrived, and it's not good. I'm sticking to recorded delivery from now on. Well, let's hope it gets back to you. Sometimes shit gets lost for a bit and then finds its way there, let's see. But, um, yeah, so that was a bit of a pisser. So that's that's all that's been going on, really. What have I been playing on? What have I, been... I haven't done a lot of gaming this week, to be honest. No, uh, not a lot. Uh, yeah, well, a bit, bit of rock band. I have tried to do another rock band video. I did kind of threaten to do this. Um, might try and do it a little bit differently. We'll see. <laughs> They're fun to do. I'm sorry for inflicting my terrible singing voice on you if you watch the next one. But it's fun to do. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having a laugh. Uh, yeah, which I'm about to go and do now on my lovely modded Wii. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, again, get in touch if you want any... Uh, if you have any loose carts, that you, I might have some box and manuals for you. And link in the low bar to the Mega Drive sale bid. And uh, that's it for now. I will see you later. Bye-bye.